Cattail. And we are talking specifically about Typha angustifolia and Typha latifolia. And these are essentially very, very similar plants used interchangeably. The biggest difference being Typha latifolia is a little bit larger. And what you may not be aware of is that cattail is native everywhere. <laughs> it's North and South America, India, Africa, uh, Eurasia, China. So this is a plant that has deep, deep history in many cultural uh, uses. So we can learn a lot about how these various um, uh, cultures made use of cattail, both as a culinary herb and as a medicine, very importantly. Um, so it's native to, of course, marshes and wetlands, edges of ponds. That's where cattail likes to grow the long stalks with that kind of brown cattail, it's said, because it blows in the wind. Very, very beautiful. Um, now, in the East, in traditional Chinese medicine, this is a plant that's known for stopping bleeding, removing blood stagnation, aiding the birthing process, promoting lactation, um, and of course promoting urination among its attributes. In the West, it's known for being anti-inflammatory, a hemostatic, antiseptic, preventing infection, analgesic, helping to ease pain, a coagulant, um, astringent, and an amenagogue. So here what you have is this plant that is well known for helping wounds and bruising, but I want you to see this added layer of its application for everything from menses to pregnancy to birthing to postpartum, right into lactation, because these are conditions that obviously deal a lot with blood. And you want to be moving blood when you're supposed to, and you want to be stopping excess bleeding when that needs to occur. And Native Americans would even use the pollen. They would they would stuff those fibers right into wounds to help stop the bleeding as well as prevent infection. In traditional Chinese medicine, the charring, the dry frying of the pollen um, until it's browned or charred is considered even a... a, a, a more refined and um, increasing of its stop bleeding properties um, and also two forms of its antiseptic properties always important when you've got bleeding going on whether from wounds or even from pregnancy right you don't want to be causing infection and the burned ashes of the leaves are very useful for for its antiseptic increases their antiseptic properties and there's a sap that grows at the base of the plant that can be applied directly uh, two wounds to prevent them from getting infected. So you can see how the rips and tears that can occur during pregnancy, this would be a wonderful natural way of, you know, helping to prevent them. Midwives are well familiar with this plant for this purpose. But I wanted to open your eyes to really how important this herb is just from that um, wound healing capability and this added benefit of menses. It's an amenagogue to pregnancy, to um, birthing, and of course postpartum. Whether it's to help stop excess bleeding, stop prevent, you know, aiding preventing infection. Obviously, the nutrition of the plant is super high in protein, among other things, and also this supporting of lactation. So it has a lot of applications you might not have been aware of. Visit our website at whiterabbitinstituteofhealing.com and find out more about cattail this plant that grows everywhere, at least if there's wetland or marsh. <laughs>